How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another exciting episode of Channel X, the only show on Thursdays that starts the weekend early. I am your single eligible bachelor host, Tom Dog Two Four Seven, and as always, I'm Tom Dog all day and Tom Dog all night. Woo, baby! All right, we're gonna have a lot of fun here today because, um, as you can see in the background, we are uh, we have Pac-Man in the background and. Um, has a lot to do with the 80s, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to um, set back the Wayback Machine and uh, revisit some of the, um, one of the things I like to talk about, um, which was a huge hit on, uh, like a really good topic on my uh, show back in the Cable Access days, uh, was revisiting the 1980s. So I'm going to share that with everybody here today. Um those who uh, grew up in the 80s, uh, what were your best um, feelings about it and everything? Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit of, um, we're going to talk about that um, during the duration and play a little Pac Man while we're at it in the process. And um, yes, you are not seeing things. Yes, you are seeing Ecto Cooler. And I am so glad that I finally found it after all this, um, after it's been released. I had no idea where it was and I finally found it. And. Oh my god, it still tastes the same. Look at that. Look at that. Still the same design and everything like that with the uh uh with the new Ghostbusters um tagline and um get it and getting it ready for the uh for the new Ghostbusters movie that's coming out next month. Uh we'll talk a little bit about that too, um while we're at it. Um because it's uh, 31, uh, 31 years since the original Ghostbusters. Um, they just celebrated a 30th anniversary last year. And uh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> that really was. I mean, uh, a couple of years ago, I'm sorry. 32 years. Going on now. So, oh, I just love this stuff. I really do. And uh, I've been drinking it. I bought, like, a lot of it. And I've been drinking it, like, like water so really enjoying that <laughs> so i'm glad for it i'm glad um before we get started with uh with the uh shout outs and everything like that um want to congratulate the cleveland cavaliers who won the nba finals on sunday on father's day great father's day gift for for those who were rooting for the cavaliers to win um and uh, they they had a pretty good game there. Not sh not sure the score on it, but um, it was it was a lot of um, it was pretty interesting because I was watching the pay um, the WWE pay per view Money in the Bank, so uh, 
see what happens. And I'm lagging again. Why the fuck am I lagging? Why? Why the fuck am I lagging? Shouldn't be lagging. Um... So congratulations to them and the Cleveland Cavaliers, of course, um, because their their win on Sunday. Um, I'm inducting them into the Channel X Hall of Fame. So congratulations to them. Um, also, the Legend of Zelda series is also going to be inducted into the Channel X Hall of Fame because they celebrate 30 years uh, this year. So that's that's a good achievement, really good achievement. And, uh, oh, what do you think? Ecto cool. You think Ecto Cooler should go into the Hall of Fame? What do you think? It's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. <laughs> Hi, C. Well, here, here it is. I'll, I'll keep, I will put them, I'll put Hi, C in the Hall of Fame if, they don't get rid of Ecto Cooler. Like they keep it. They keep the Ecto Cooler. Never leave it. So, Hi C, it's your call. I want it. I I don't want this to be like a promotional thing, like uh, a one shot deal and everything like that. No. Keep it. Don't ever leave it. that up like nothing okay shout outs shout outs um big shout outs to uh my friends over at gaming bros and otherwise on facebook um get to check them out uh tell them tom dog sent you um lots of fun we talk about video you know take it we talk about video games anime and all that good shit and uh i've been posting nothing but power ranger stuff because uh which i'll talk about in a little bit before we get started on today's show because uh, there's some other stuff I need to talk about um so yeah get, um give a look see on Facebook gaming pros and otherwise and uh tell them Tom dog sent you and uh big shout out to my good friend Steph she has a website called fightforme.net uh, I get the you know it's a little website that she does and uh Basically helps her out, um, you know, can help anybody out and everything like that. Um, very, um, like, better your life and everything like that. And uh, it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful uh, website to go check out. And, uh, you know, I check it out uh, periodically. Support her, her webpage and everything. And I also support her, too. As a matter of fact, so um, it was definitely a, a, a great web page to check out, and that's fightforme.net. And uh, speaking of, and while you're online, after you check out her web page, check out my web page, brillpro.com. Uh, like little pop culture stuff and everything like that. It talks about, you know, all the stuff that's going on and everything like that. It's still a little work in progress and get things all set and ready and everything like that and uh we have a lot of fun with that and uh do baseball you know you baseball fans out there are not um not quite sure where uh where your favorite teams are at um I'll do the best I can to update them as daily as possible um it, it's it's pretty tough so um I've been pretty busy a lot lately so um but I do update it as best as I can and all that but um when they are updated, they, they're how I how I choose them because of the fact that they have like um they have um uh, they have the you know the actual standings and everything like that. But what I do what I do is I go um if they're if they're tied, I put them in alphabetical order and um. I don't. I don't count the losses. I don't count the losses. I only count the wins. So I only go by wins and everything. So um, definitely um, best to check out. 
um, and I talk, um, had put up some wrestling results on the wrestling prime section of of that. Um, and you get to see the links uh, where you can find me and everything like that. So um, it's a pretty cool website to check out. Um, working on some other other stuff too. Hopefully, uh, Connecticut. Um, I'll be able to. Hopefully, I'm hoping to go to Connecticut. But if not, I do apologize because I want to go this year. I want to go. It'll be my first uh, convention. But um, the way my finance, uh, the way money has been lately, it's been not happening. So, and it's next month, and I don't think I'll be able to make it. So I gotta, I gotta see what's going on and everything. So I probably won't be able to make that. I wanted to this year, but a lot of things keep coming up, and and I'm kind of disappointed in that. So, but that's a different story altogether. Um, so I may have to miss that, but I'll be making out some business cards and whatnot. Anyways, get that ready for future appearances and stuff like that so it'll be a lot of fun um so yeah that's bropro.com now the plugs okay just and uh good friends over at loot crate just got um just got my box the other day um this past um monday i believe and uh just did an unboxing i will be uploading the uh the video on it um either after the show is over or tomorrow um but if you have not yet subscribed to loot crate um and it's worth it every month very it's really really worth it and everything you'll have a great um it's a lot of fun okay having some interference and uh one of the things i will show off um Actually, it's not in this box. It's actually on my little display. I, I did I did some uh, fixing on my display, um, so I can have room for everything. And um, and uh, it was that it was actually pretty. Um, so it's looking all right. I have everything off to the um, some of them off to the side a little bit. I just need to make some room because I'm working on some new sp uh, on some on some space I might have to change the location where I do my shows because I I um the room I have now is too small so I may have to look for um a bigger room uh to do these shows and uh have all my displays and everything like that um so one of the items that was in in the um the loot crate box is uh the dorbs from uh good friends over at Funko and uh look at that that is nice and the detail of that is is wonderful and um strangely enough it's not a loot crate exclusive um i actually thought it would be but um apparently it's not but that's okay because i'm not i know i'm not picking anything like that and um so it's a uh, it's really cool i like it and uh Dorbs are really cool. So it's my first Dorbs that I ever got um, from Fun Funko, and uh, it's actually really cool. I like it. Uh, they're very cute. I was thinking about picking up one the other day, but instead, I managed to pick up a. Um, which one did I pick up? Oh yeah, the Doom Space Marine, which is right here, over right here. So um, I think I showed that off um, last time, but. It's really cool, uh, from from Doom. This version of Doom, so <laughs> so, um, and speaking of Funko, um, if you have not yet subscribed, give me, come here, bring that over here. There we go. If you have not yet subscribed to uh, Smuggler's Bounty, you're missing out on some awesome stuff. So right there, Smuggler's Bounty, um monthly so it's not next month uh, it's going to be uh, so it's not this month but next month um, you you know if you subscribe now uh, still still a lot of time to subscribe to it and you get to check that out it's uh because the theme of that one is Jabba's Palace and 
that one's going to look really really cool. Uh, a lot of a lot of choices to uh, a lot of um, I had a lot of survey. There was a lot of surveys going on with that one. And that was really really cool. Um, and everything. Oh man, this ecto cooler is so awesome. Yeah, I got another one. <laughs> I tell you, I've been drinking this thing like water. So uh, it's become an addiction. You know, if if I had a swimming pool. I would fill the I would fill the swimming pool up with ecto cooler. I swear to God, this drink is so fucking amazing. Love that. Hi, C. Remember, if you don't get rid of this, if you don't get rid of this again, you'll be able to keep it. You'll be in the Hall of Fame. So, just letting you know. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh. Um so looking forward to Smuggler's Bounty. And if you're uh speaking of pop vinyl figures and everything like that, if you're a pop vinyl pop vinyl collector like like me, obviously, poppriceguide.com is your place to go to see how how value how much value there is in your pop vinyl collection. Uh check it out today pop vinyl pop price guide Dot com. That's poppriceguide.com. Check it out today. Okay. Um, one more thing, uh, you wrestling fans out there. Um, shocking term of events happened um, 24 hours removed from uh, Money in the Bank. Roman Reigns has been suspended for 30 days. Um, hopefully... This does not his affect the main event that's coming up on Battleground, but I will keep everybody posted because um, he will be back in time for Battleground. Um, question is, the only question is, at that time, we're not sure. So um, I'll, as soon as I get, get more information on what's going on, I will relay that to everybody. And also be sure, um, I'll also post that on BrillPro.com as well. Um, so check that, um, so check that out and I'll even, I might even tweet about it too and everything like that. So, um, just be on the lookout for everything. Um, and I'll keep everybody, um, posted as we get closer to battleground. And I do apologize for the lag. There's a lot of interference going on. I do apologize for that. I can't, um, control that at all. So hopefully that will happen. Um, so, okay. So. Um, oh, one of the uh, other items, um, which is perfect for today's topic, which is, um, 80s, on, um, talk about 1980s and playing a little Pac-Man in the process, check out the t-shirt that I got from Luke Great, the Robocop t-shirt, this is, uh, really, really awesome, I love it, and, uh, the only thing I've been thinking about, uh, how much it would cost, and, uh, to actually have this t-shirt and everything like that, if you were to pick that up for the store, and, my best guess was, I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, uh, you old school RoboCop fans from the eighties would know would get that reference. So, um, so, um, I had a lot of fun doing E three last week. Um, doing the coverage and everything like that. Um, it's pretty much been a uh, Channel X tradition. Um. On my show, it's been a pretty much a Channel X tradition on my show. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun with that, um, pretty much for the long run and everything. And uh, I always, I always like to have uh, fun with it. And um, from the responses that I've been getting, and uh, it's always been really, really cool. So even if they don't watch any of the um, E3 coverage, I always like to um keep other everybody uh posted on what's happening so um so yeah um so i just i just finished off the um editing the e3 wrap up so um i'm actually excited for that 
and uh, which is why I'll be able to do um, edit the unboxing that I did for Loot Crate. Um, so yeah, it's up on my YouTube channel and everything like that. Um, be able to check that out, Tom Arcade 69. If you want to give out a lot of uh, um, feedback on what on uh, from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, um, which I do um, pretty much every year. Um, back um, back in my cable access days, I even did that too. But I since I only had uh, you know one episode a week, um, I had to limit some of that stuff. So, but since I was um, able to do stuff online and everything like that, I had a lot a lot more um, freedom to do what I finally wanted to do, and this is how I wanted to do it. Uh, do one day of Microsoft, next day Sony, next day PlayStation, um, next uh, day Nintendo, and then wrap it all up with the, um, you know, wrap it all up with the uh, final, my final thoughts of of E3 in general, and uh, had a lot of fun with that, and, uh, and a lot of people have been watching and everything, and. Uh, a lot of feedback too, so that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. You know, keep those comments and questions going and everything like that. I do appreciate that. I um, I don't want you to think that I'm not replying to you guys, but you know, I will eventually and everything like that because I have some other comments that I have to take care of first, um, which I will be taking care of um, when we get to the anniversary of my Donald Trump rant, which which will be coming up in the next two weeks. So <laughs> um, so be on the lookout for that. And I will be responding to a lot of the um, comments that were posted on, on that particular topic. So, so you haters out there that had a lot of negative things to say, be warned, I will be replying back. For those who I have not replied back to, but nonetheless, I will reply reply back to all comments that were made on that rant that I did. And there's another Donald Trump rant coming up on the anniversary of the rant I did last year. So be on the lookout for that. Yeah. Okay, 1980s, the 80s. Um. Basically, that's the topic that we're going to be talking about today. Uh, what you, you know, share my my feelings, uh, my thoughts about it, and uh, your thoughts as well. And while we're at it, we're going to be playing some Pac-Man. So we're going to do that right now. Um, this is what we this is what we dealt with during the. Uh, Everything. Ooh. I goofed. <laughs> it's been so long since I last played Pac Man. I love Pac Man. Ah, shit. I botched it up. This is what I like to do. <laughs> I just love doing that. Um, actually, the other day... Oh, hell no, I moved. 
Um, the other day, um, I was watching E.T., and, uh, that was, that was a huge part of my childhood, was E.T. Ah, shit. Ah, shit! Just love that sound. <laughs> um... Ah, oh, man. <sighs> One thing I noticed about these, um, these juice boxes, they're a lot smaller than I remember them. I remember them a lot bigger and everything. Um, but yeah, Robocop. Um, was really huge in the 80s. Uh, Gremlins, uh, Ghostbusters, you know, Ghostbusters was really huge. Ecto Cooler was re actually really huge in the 80s, too. Um, then the mid 90s, they seemed to fade away. Um, oh, I always loved, um, um, the 80s. There was like a lot of cool stuff. Um, I remember things about like giggle. Oh, we had these cookies called Giggles Cookies. Um, they were actually sandwich cookies that had little funny faces on them. Um, those those were a lot of fun. Um, my favorite was the chocolate. Um, was the chocolate cookie with the peanut butter. With the peanut butter filling, um, those were actually very good. Uh, believe it or not, those were actually really good. Um, and had a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed them and stuff like that. So, um, had a, like a lot of, uh, a lot of good, uh, stuff. And you know what? There was a lot of freedom. There was, you know, the way I remember it, there was a lot of freedom in the eighties that I remember. Um, Basically, you know, um, you know, playing out, you know, when we played outside, never really had to worry about, you know, never really had to worry about, um, staying out too late because once those street lights, um, once the street lights came on, that was pretty much our signal to get inside, you know, um, So that so I had a lot of fond of mem fond memories of that. So they were pretty cool. <laughs> um, and of course the um, my first video game console was um, was the Atari twenty six hundred. Um, my very first video game, of course, that I've always mentioned before, um, that I mentioned on Tom Dog Plays, was um, Qbert. Um, but the first Atari game that I ever played was um, the game that I played on the Atari 2600 was Berserk. That that was actually my game. And during the crash of of '83. The video game crash of '83. Um, there was, I, you know, it was sad that you know that maybe we would never see video games again. Um, so the one game I always played religiously after that was, of course, Berserk. 
Um, that was actually my salvation. Um, played a lot of Pitfall um, during that time too. Activision was was uh, was big in the uh, in the eighties. Um, they had Pitfall, Dolphin, Oink, um, Kaboom was another one, another fun one. Um, yeah, a lot of fun games and everything like that, but, you know, not like today, you know, not like today and everything. And, uh, the music, the music back then, too, um, was also fun. Um, was also really, really cool. And... 80s music, I love. I love 80s music more than anything. Um, some of today's music, and, you know, whether you want to agree or disagree, sometimes you um not really good at understanding the lyrics um, to some of the uh, today's music. And, you know, it's, you know, it's not anybody's fault or anything. It's just just how today's music is and everything like that you know you make you make you know random noises um you make random noises and chances are you know it will turn into a ballad <laughs> you know um no you know there's nothing wrong with that you know i have you know nothing against today's music it's just the fact that you know i just don't understand it so you know it's you know it's not a not a race thing or anything like that. It's just the fact that you know, if if you don't understand certain uh, lyrics and everything like that, <coughs> then you know it's nobody's fault. So, um, what time do we have here? You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do something. Um, you know, going back to the video games there and everything like that. Um. Take a little break, you know, I'll take a little break there. Um, little video games and everything like that. And I got to thinking, um, I'm sure there was a, like a lot of rejected video games. So I, I, I thought to myself, you know, maybe there were, I wonder if there were any games that were rejected. That nobody knew about. And I came up with five. Right here. And these are brand new index cards too. So I couldn't I couldn't fan them out. Like I wanted to. Because they're all like. Stuck together. So I had to like. Doing that. And no I did not jerk off on them. You sick bastards. So I got five of them here. And. What it is, is the top five rejected video games. Now, this could be for any console and anything like that. Um, but um, they're pretty out there. So here we go. Uh, starting with number f and why it's number five and uh, why I only have five. Well, there wasn't that much to think about for number one and number two. The guys at YouTube aren't paying me, so... So, sorry for not doing 10. So, we only got 5. So, here we go. Starting with number 5. The 5th rejected video game. Poking Mom. I'll let you leave that to the uh, imagination. And, okay. Number 4. Stormtrooper Academy. <laughs> that one's gonna be. That one's pretty funny. Um, it's a target. It's a target shooter, and it's a target target shooter. And the object is to get the bullseye, <laughs> and you miss. <laughs> it's very tricky. <laughs> uh, number three, Alter Boy. Object of the game is not to get molested by a Catholic priest. 
Uh, number two, Business Tycoon Donald Trump Edition. That game failed because once you turn it on, you are instantly bankrupt. And the number one rejected video game of all time is Ashley Madison Online Simulator. <laughs> I will let you... I will let you... Um, think about that one yourself. So... I'm going to start on uh, level two. Fuck. But yeah, this was basically, you know... Ah, shit. Didn't get a chance there. Hell yeah, there we go. Shit. It's pretty tough, pretty tough. Fuck, fuck, fuck. out yeah what are some of your fond memories post in the comments there what were your fondest memories of the 80s There was newer for me to go on that one. But yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fond memories of.
Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Nice. <laughs> oh, man, that never happens to me. That never happens. The last piece right there never happens. Goddamn ghost. Oh, whoa. If you're just tuning in, this is Channel X. I'm Tom Dog here. We're going back to the 80s. Uh, what, what's your fondest memories of the 80s? Post in the comments there. You know, get the party going. Shared off mine. Um. Oh yeah. Speaking of go. Um. I know I. Ah. Uh, why did I w go that way? <laughs> Damn it. I got a night. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to that. But um. Remember I talked about the Greater Waterbury Cable Console or as I like to call them, guac. Pac-Man reference. Oh, 
<laughs> Walking right into that. How did I escape that? <laughs> So good. Damn. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh oh. Aww. Aww. <laughs> it's... Video games in the 80s were a lot more challenging than the video games of today. Just letting you out there and just letting you know. Oh, you fucker. God damn you, Pinky. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Give me that apple. Fuck. Ah. Ah, you bastard. Ghosts are a lot faster on level 5. I want that way, I want that way. I'm not grabbing the apple again. I think you're going. There we go. Got my free guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, how did I escape certain doom? Oh, 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 oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Told you, these games are tricky. Get new achievements. Nice. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. That was bullshit. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, you want to chase me, asshole? There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Ah! Cornered!
Believe it or not, there was a uh, a Pac-Man cartoon. Ah, shit! It was actually very cool. Oh my god, how lucky was that? How lucky was that? I'm not gonna be so lucky next time. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Chase me, asshole. Ah! Last fucking minute. Son of a bitch. Oh. Ah, uh, why did I go in there? <laughs> Just tuning in, this is Channel X, Tom Dog here, doing some uh, reminiscent of the 1980s, Our fond my fondest memories, and uh, maybe you have some 80s moments to share as well. Um, not going to be on here much longer. Um, Really? Oh, hell no. There we go. Oh, 
Ah, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Damn it! Mr. Gallagher. Oh, hell no. Nah, screw that. I gotta do over. Oh, why did I walk into that? Not leaving until I get that Galaga. Up. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I'm not leaving until I get this goddamn Gallagher. Yeah, it's, it shows up at the... Sandwich right there. I couldn't. I couldn't get to it. So. So. So yeah, that was that's Pac-Man and everything. Um. But yeah, that was the nineteen that nineteen eighties. You know, a lot of fun times and everything like that. And uh, you know, I'm glad that that part of the eighties is still with us. And uh, I kind of like that. I really do. And. Uh, so what were your fond memories? Post them in the comments below and everything like that. Uh, what we think about it. And uh, you know, follow me on uh, on Twitter, TomDog247 is uh, 
where I am on Twitter. Um, also, um, click the heart for that um, on here on on Twitch, so you can watch me and all my craziness and everything like that. So we always have a lot of fun. And uh, while you're at it, go on uh, Tom Arcade 69 for uh, my YouTube channel. And while you're at it, give that give that. Um, why don't you go ahead and face hug that that subscribe button and like button. Gratefully appreciate it. And uh, I'll be back here again next week. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun times that we will have and everything like that. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun, as we always do. And uh, with some crazy tomfoolery that I always like to bring out and everything. So uh, that being said, uh, we will see you here next time. Till then, this is Tom Dog saying take care. So long. Peace.